Joma. Finally, I get Have to Have you guys watched this video? I've seen this video being made by many, many tech YouTubers. Hey, that's me. And uh, <laughs> finally, I can make it because it's been exactly 10 years that I've been coding. Damn, how old is Joma? <laughs> By the time I finished Joma, making old, this bro. video, but you look it really were already 2022. <laughs> Everyone's path is different. Even if you've been working at a different industry and you don't have a CS degree like me, it doesn't mean you can't get into tech. The year of- Dude, he's saying do not f follow his path, but you know what? I, th I don't think that's true, dude. Cause I watched his videos before I started coding and I was like, yo, I need to do this shit. And that worked for me. So I think trying to follow someone's path, it does work, but obviously you have to adapt it, adapt it to your own situation, right? No one is too dumb for computer science. True. Year Look 2000, I became a finance wannabe. You have to pronounce it finance, not finance. So it's I was a finance finos. wannabe. McDonald's, where I handled concurrent microtransactions in a fast-paced environment. <laughs> so clearly, I had to start Burger a side engineer. project. Wait, let me see. let's see his classes. Class object oriented programming. I took introduction that. to optimization, logic and computation object oriented, macroeconomic introduction. Ew, what the hell are these classes? Course where I learned all that jazz helped me land an internship at Scotiabank. Uh, doing what? You guessed it. Automating option pricing with Black Scholes model. I did not guess that. If that, that means what nothing you to you, about? don't worry. It doesn't mean anything to me too. What I learned. You can't rely on others to just hand you things. If you want something worth getting, you, you gotta have go to be proactive. Get it. Or else, everyone else would also have it then. Year 2014, computer literacy. This was the year of demystifying computers. Uh, I took data structures and data management, aka... Yo, if, if, do you guys know Citadel? This company is actually crazy, dude. Like this company pays like 400k for undergrads. Like that is insane. Any tips for a first yes interview? Man, make sure you know it's a coding interview or behavioral. If it's coding, just do lead codes. If it's a behavioral, practice your stories. His GPA is on 100. Yeah, I, I think they have a different system where it's like on, on 100. 94 is probably pretty good, right? It's in the 90s. And an OS textbook. So I just learned enough. Hey, yo, that's the course. I just failed the midterm. And I quote from Your code was not only useless, but it was toxic. It held back our team for a whole no quarter. No shot. What is that? Nobody said that. Anyways, I got a return offer and a stellar review. Great experience. Amazing. Five out of five would do it again. I took one of the hardest courses in our school, apparently. It was called Computer Graphics. It Ooh, wasn't that hard. This is also one of the hardest courses in my university. And yeah, there's no shot in hell I'm taking that. The things you learn and the skills you gain that are completely unrelated to each other often actually complement each other. That's what I said. But I was also growing on YouTube a lot. So my focus was split. Yeah, right now. I, I, I didn't stop to think about what I really wanted in life. Dude, that's me right now. Joma, tell me what to do right now. I just did things. Grew my channel, chased numbers, and got burnt out. Oh, shit. I didn't code a single line <laughs> as a data scientist. gonna get burnt out? So nothing there. The more you work on trying to understand yourself, the more you'll be literate in your own emotions. And having that understanding of yourself will allow you to make way better decisions. Year 2019. How do rebirth. I understand myself? Right, my last internship at LinkedIn. So I did the typical lead code grind, huge imposter syndrome. 194 questions solved. That's a lot. Applied to two big companies, got extremely lucky and got both offers. I was so, so relieved. So much of my mental health quickly got better, basically. Year 20. Yo, that's actually me right after I got Facebook. I was mostly working in C++. Same thing Ugh. every time. I know we're always beautiful because I used to be a data scientist. That, I, yo, that's what happened to me at Cisco, bro. I barely coded, but at the end of my internship, there was like a project presentation in front of everyone, including like the vice president. And I just pulled through with my like business presentation skills. And they were like, we want you back, even though I didn't do shit. I learned in the end, work is just work. Your technical abilities work and your expertise work. don't matter as much as you think. My YouTube channel became pretty big. 
I can't really call it a hobby anymore. But um, the crazy thing is, I'm loving it Congrats, more than ever before. And the craziest thing is, Drake's in chat. I wanted to be a YouTuber when I was like 15. And it actually Me came too. true. When I was nine. I am so grateful Wait, the that I have this YouTube channel. You can't control the outcomes of your dice rolls, but you can control what dice you use. Really? And the more you work on yourself, I roll higher the more than three. The dice become weighted to your advantage. So eventually, you'll hit jackpot as long as you keep jackpot. rolling the dice. Anyways, that's it for the video. See ya. See you, man. <laughs> amazing. Yo, can we get some claps in the chat for Joma, dude? This guy is actually amazing, dude. In 10 years, he did so much. He accomplished his dream of being a freaking YouTuber and he I got- I wanted to be a- He went from data, software engineer to data science to data science to software engineer. <laughs> Great job, Joma. Good fucking job, dude. And you inspired me to become a software engineer. You ruined my life, Joma. No, I'm just kidding. I love you.